So Randy is cleaning up this fantastic fan, and um, Cheslin is helping him. We're gonna, or he's gonna install it for me today, which is awesome. It's gonna go into the bathroom. Yeah. I did not purchase this fan new. Danny actually replaced the one in her van. It's um, bi-directional, goes in and out. This one only sucks out. It's Danny's new fan, it's a Max Air that she replaced it with. Asked if I wanted it, I said sure, because I needed to replace the one in my bathroom anyways. So I took this, I just have to clean it up a little bit. I'm gonna take the shroud and put it in the river and scrub it down. Yeah, this is the shroud right here. It's a bit dirty on the inside, so I definitely wanna wash it out. So no soap was used to clean this, I just used water and a scrub brush. I'm going to go get some vinegar, spray it down and then wipe it off. Dogs look like they're having fun. So they have most of the old sealant off and he's getting ready to install it. There's the hardware, I bought some new screws and sealant for this project. Expansion ladder. What a wonderful, wonderful design. Don't step in this big dog turd. Go pick up your dog mess. I know. Right now there's like 14 big old humongous turds over here. <laughs> Go pick it up now. Look at that nastiness. <laughs> no, there's no leaks, thankfully. Okay, I'm going to take this fan off right here. And remember, people, you see the looks of this? Make sure you get it good and tight so it doesn't fold up or you will have leaks. So he's got his tools up there and he's getting ready to... Take out the old vent. Yeah, it had a lot of decor on it, so yeah. he's scraping off all the old decor, and I'm opening the vent. Yeah, trying to find the nuts. Oh, the screws. Yeah, it's like you know, you gotta clean all that off. Right, and then you gotta try to. Oh yeah, unscrew it. Ugh. Okay, is that good? Yeah, that'll work out and get to these. Okay, cool. All right, thank you. You're welcome. Ew, what is that? That's gross looking. <laughs> That's gross looking. It's okay. Got, it's get... got pinchers and it bites. Oh, well, put it, don't put it down. Okay. It's biting. Not in here. Oh, all right. <laughs> a lot of junk up here. How's it, so how's it going? It's... I got about a third more die to take off. Okay. And then we'll start taking her apart. Do you want to show them? Here you go. Okay, try to take this decor off here, and it is thick, hard to come off. Thank you. There you go. Oh, it's bright and sunny. What's going on here? What I got. What you have is an issue with your air pocket. Uh-huh. See all that flaps? Yeah, I see it. Yeah, I've noticed that um, as it gets older, there's yeah. an air pocket under there. So I'm going to clean this off, and it's going to look brand new, and we're going to tack this down. Okay, cool. All right. Awesome. Just walk right down it. Oh, come front ways? Yeah. Okay. But that's, that's when do. I was young and a little more energetic and a lot more stupid. <laughs> So you're getting it all cleaned up? Yes, I am. Awesome. Just about ready for the actual fan. Okay, I'll just let me know and I'll hand it to you. I'm glad the clouds came in because it makes it cooler. Makes it a lot nicer. Yeah. I like your boots, girl. Yeah, you're missing one. I know. I wonder where they went to. Your feet. <laughs> <laughs>
<clears throat> no, you don't have to climb it. Oh, there you go. Alright, I'll bring the fan next. You got it? It's heavy. Got her, thank you. Here you go. One to the pack. Awesome. Okay, now. I'm gonna have to do, we're gonna have to do some Did, uh, Scott we have put wire. it short or something? Yeah, it's too short. Do you want the one from down here? And I've got electrical tape. Actually, you know what? I have extra wire. You want it? Yes. Okay, I'll go get it. Okay, all right. We have some extra wire inside the RV. Um, they were thinking about taking the wire off the old fan, but the thing is, is that's a smaller fan and the wire is smaller, so I don't think it's rated for the bigger fan because it has thicker gauge wire. Okay, here's 10 gauge. Okay. Red. I'll have to find the black. Alrighty. I just redid my window screens here for the passenger side. I'm going to redo the driver's side. It really got messed up because, hold on, I actually used to roll these up and they were screwed in here. I actually have a video, so if you want to see that, I'll put a link at the end. Um, but now this is Velcroed. So that way I can take the whole screen off because I was rolling them up and just I'm putting them right here and they would get messed up. So now I can just take them off, roll them up and put them under the seat. So yeah, and it turned out nice. And I used to not have this Velcroed, but I went ahead and Velcroed this so no bugs can get in at all. It's completely sealed up. Looks good. Door in the face. Ah! <laughs> and he's letting me use her table. See, this is what I'm talking about. When I rolled it up in the door, it got all messed up. So, yeah, I'm going to make them where they uh, aren't attached anymore. And I can just detach the whole thing, fold them up, and put them under the seat. Bought some new screen. And I'm going to use this old pattern right here to cut the new pattern. Awesome sauce! Awesome sauce! The pattern is cut out. Now all I have to do is put it up and trim the excess. Also put Velcro on it. Okay, the pattern looks good. I just have it um, hooked to the Velcro on the frame. Now I just have to touch the other Velcro. I place one side of the Velcro, get it in position, and then as you can see, I place the other side where it's fastened to it, and then I'm just gonna take this and fold it over. That way it sticks to it and I know where it should be on the screen. And then I'll just staple that. The reason why I use staples is because the Velcro doesn't stick to the netting very well, but it does stick to the frame because it's just metal. So I have to use staples over here. Now that I have the Velcro stuck to the screen, I can just take it off like this and then staple it. The driver window side is done. All I have to do is trim the edge and I'll be good to go. Ain't no more bugs for me. Just check your line. Okay, the hole looks good. Uh, wait, you're not all the way in. Okay. That's, wait. That looks good. Okay. You're good to go. So I had to readjust it where the line was a uh, space all the way around. So that way the thing could go in there. Okay, she's installed. Got the die core around here. And it's ready to go. I just got to hook up the electricity. Awesome. And it'll be working. And then we'll put the shroud on after we get it working. Okay, cool. Okay, Aja's last screw, take one. All right, it's in. That looks awesome. And the switch here, so I can leave it on and just open this and it should cut back on. Yep. I wanted to leave the switch on, but I can cut it all the way off. But there's a switch in the lid too, so as soon as I shut it, it turns off. Oh, you did yours tight. She whooped me. <laughs> so we're doing the last step which is the shroud and it was seeming to be a bit difficult like the whole project at first <laughs> just figuring out which way the bolts yeah are. it's just figuring out because we didn't have any manuals or anything since it was used 
But thank you, Danny. I appreciate it. <laughs> it was less than a year old. It's not yeah. that used. No, I know, but I'm just saying I appreciate it. Oh, you more than welcome. Here's the finished product. It looks wonderful and it works. I just want to say thank you to Randy, also Ken, for helping wiring it up, and Danny getting the shroud on, also giving me the, um, the fan. This is just awesome. That's what you call Rugrats on float. He's going faster than you. Bye. He's like a mermaid. Or sorry, merman. Man made. <laughs> this is what you call true love. Lick her face. Lick it. <laughs> Yay, it is all done. Remember, if you want to see the video where I first installed the screens, here's the link here. Um, I do like this system better because I can take the whole screen off before the screens were attached to the door. Like I said, it just ripped off and, fold and rolled up. But I want to thank y'all for hanging out with me today. Hopefully, I'll see you in the next video. We are having karaoke tonight here at Clear Creek Reservoir. It's going to be awesome. But I love everyone out there. Stay safe and onward bound. Mwah. Bye. That's more your height. I can barely see that. <laughs> you were just by yourself and you had your toad. Oh, no. <laughs> well, you thank you. Stayed, I you appreciate you stayed, watching. Yeah, you even stayed uh, in Santa Maria where I grew up. On the coast of California? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah from the central coast. Oh, stuff. awesome. Yeah, I was like, that's like a couple of blocks away from where my mom used to work. <laughs> oh, no way. Really? <laughs> so, yeah. how long have you been on the road? Since June 26th. And how do you like it? I love it. That's awesome. Yeah, I did the... I, um, quit my job. Um, congratulations. 16, thank you. <laughs> and then two You don't say later. congratulations to most people about that, but <laughs> congratulations. <Thank you. laughs>